Hey there, it's Fred Ferguson from fredferguson.com with another one of these unscripted moments. It is day 27 of my 30-day Crush Your Fear of the Webcam Challenge. <laughs> I'm officially a rock star, kids. I woke up at lunchtime today. It's 1 o'clock. <laughs> it's 1 o'clock and I'm having my coffee. I'm not exactly sure what I planned for today, but it's changed. I like this topic today. Avoiding distractions to finish things takes discipline, and it ain't easy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, if you work hard for long periods of time, and I've done that on this blog, this 27 days is... <clears throat> It's probably been the most concentrated effort that I've done in my life for 27 straight days. And I I can't tell you the pride that I'm starting to feel as a result of it and the relationships that I'm building as a result of it and the attention that I'm getting as a result of it and the fact that I chose uh, taking on my fear of, oh, one eye here. I can't tell you the satisfaction that I'm deriving from that, right? At any rate, I thought I would bring you up to speed. I, I, I'm going to do a little bit of talking in this post. It's written. i just now making the video for it. But uh, the distractions thing, it's a reality. We're going to have to figure out how to deal with it because it really does get in the way. But then sometimes maybe you just need some goddamn play, you know? I don't know. I'm not a judge of that. Listen, don't take me as an expert at anything. All I'm doing is sharing my journey, and I'm particularly I'm showing you things that I'm finding are working. What I'd like to do is just go through this again, because why do we do things? Well, uh, I do things for these guys, my dogs. I do things for my family, my wife, and my my you know my kids and their kids and all that stuff. But you do it also for some satisfaction, some relationships, and things. And on April the 2nd, somebody paid attention to this thing for the first time. So now it's May the 3rd. So officially a month and a day ago, this was no man's land. FredFerguson.com was of interest to no one. And these are not huge numbers. I mean, these are not, but they are if you don't have them. And these numbers were got without spending money. Now, once I start spending money, this whole thing is going to change. I don't want to spend money on a site that's not convertible. I want to have all the things in place before I bring a bunch of people here. Right now, the people that are here are just 100% because they want to be and no other reason. And they do have different opportunities to buy something through here if they want to, but this essentially is just me building a relationship with people who are coming along and noticing, ooh, something's different about this place. And I think you should want to know how to do that. That's why I'm continuing these things. So, this traffic is organic. There's 1,092 sessions. There's 435 users. Uh, 3,064 views. Organic search started at 2 or 1, and now it's 17. Pages per session... On average, 2.8. Session duration, 6 minutes, 15. This is, uh, I think, for some sites, this is pretty miraculous. I've got fast load page times, which I think fast loads is really, really part of the thing, too. I can't stand now to wait for a page to load. If it won't load, I'm out of there. And the time on page is about the length of the video. So what this tells you, no. What this tells me is that I'm on the right track 
because I'm using one eye and whatever I have for the ability to communicate and I'm meeting with people where they live eyeball to eyeball brain to brain and that is feeling awesome I'm getting comments on my blogs now on my blog now you know you're going somewhere when you draw this shit I'm getting uh, a number of these per day now these are assholes that come along thinking they're going to take a ride off of whatever traffic you're generating by sinking a link in and of course the only thing that happens is that <laughs> So what the fuck they're trying to pull, I don't know. If I'm smart enough to make some people come here, I'm smart enough to keep some assholes away, you'd think. They apparently don't think. Okay, done for <laughs> classes out now. So this is self-promotion time. I've messed around with this up here, and I realize Ben Settle was right. When you talk about Ben Settle, it's not Ben Settle, it's bensettle.com. If you want to know what Ben Settle's uh, podcast is called, guess what? bensettle.com podcast. That's what it's called. And I thought, you know what? The guy is a genius in so many levels, particularly his unlikability. I love that or dislikeability. I'm fairly politically incorrect. At any rate, if it's good enough for Ben, it's good enough for me. From here on in, I am business building systems. I am about business building. I've never changed my focus on what I wanted to do. I want to help people as I learn and as I grow what I'm building, I want to show other people how to do it too. So there's a few things that I want to add <clears throat> that I don't have now. And there's a bunch of things that I do. But it's moving forward. It's going to be fredferguson.com. And that's it. I am going to continue because I've, uh, you know, uh, when I made the, uh, the Facebook fan page, it's Fred Ferguson V 2.0. That's going to stay the same. And the inner circle is still going to be Fred's, Fred Ferguson inner circle. That's, it's got facebook.com groups slash Fred Ferguson inner circle. Now, from the front, from the top, the reason why this website is set up like this is that eventually I'm going to have everything in here that I'm into. Everything's going to be there. This is only a partially constructed site. I'm building it as I go along, and I'm the guy who's doing it. So I'm not jobbing it out. It's just something that I feel like I have to do. I have to be the guy who made all the mistakes. I have to be the guy who fixed them. And then I can be the guy to show other people what I learned. Fair enough? So in the sidebar, under my wise my little guys under that and under this little gif of me yapping at the thing and under this free plugin here authority content plugin is my web page on Facebook if you click on that it will take you to here don't get too attached to this because I'm already not liking it I might even go back to my sarcastic thing with the swear words in it. I'm not just sure what I'm going to do there. But um, that's where you get to hook up in the inner circle. And the inner circle, folks, is where you're going to want to be. That's where all the cool kids are. That's where all the fun is. And that's where a shitload of free software and free lead magnets for you to do what you want with is I'm just going to show you how you can get in there I don't go spamming other groups poach their members and get them to come I get them because they hear about my place being a cool place and they come because they want to 
That's the only way this happens. I want like-minded people in there. I got no, I have no jerks in my group. They're good, caring, honest marketers. Some of the best marketers you're going to find anywhere are in my group right now. Okay. So once you're in the inner circle, it's here. This is what it looks like. Listen to my little blah, blah, blah video at the front end, and that'll give you the most up to date on what's going on. Here's what I'm talking about with the software. Over here, underneath Fred's inner circle on the left-hand side, you'll as you come on down, you'll see files. If you click on the files section, you'll see, I think there's 16 or 17 pieces in there. Before the weekend, there'll be over 20, maybe 20. Uh, well, yeah, there'll be more than 20 in there, I'm sure, because I just haven't had the time to go and sort out what I'm putting up next. Now, when you get stuff out of the inner circle, please, the only rules attached to this is you must let us know if you found it useful. You must come back and let us all know because the reason I went this route and the reason why I do what a lot of other guys aren't doing is that I want to put together a group of people that helps each other by spreading out the workload. There is more things to look at and more things to evaluate than any one of us has time for. If you guys are waiting for one individual to let you know what's really happening in the marketplace, you're delusional. There's not enough time for that. The only thing that's happening out there are people are picking what they want to market. They're doing whatever they have to do to get it to sound saleable and they're pitching it. If you want to know what's really going on, there's only two things that I know how to do. One is to join me in a group called Society 11. Society 11. That's one way. I'm going to put a link at the bottom. You have to pay to be in there. It's the best money I ever spent. The only other way that I know of where you're going to have an opportunity to play and learn and that from people is in my group. Fred Ferguson's Inner Circle. There's awesome other groups out there, and there's awesome information in there, but the type of group that I'm putting together is really not like any other one that you're going to find, and that's, that's the truth. And it's only going to get better as time goes on. So here's the drill. You come to Fred Ferguson. I'd like you to like my page. I'd love you to like my page. You'd be a rock hero in my eyes if you will like my page. And then click here to go over to here. Like this one and then sign up. And it's not, you're not giving up anything. You're just clicking to, you're knocking on the door to get into the inner circle. Once I see it, I'll approve you and you're in. Once you're in, watch the video. See, I've got somebody now that wants in the group. So I'm going to go let them in and welcome them like this guy and this is the the stuff that you're going to see in here and i'm going to be putting lives in here man we're going to go crazy and would you believe it this thing is only um how old is it 27 no not even it's 20 20 something days and i now have uh 45 members and as soon as i click that person that wants in, I'll have 46. So come on over and be number 47 or 48 or 49 or 50, and you won't regret it. And you don't have to stick around. If you don't like the way we're, you know, if you don't like how we're cutting there, then you can cut out. No, no hard feelings. So this has gone on long enough. We're 14 minutes in. I can't even believe it. And I didn't even really, all I was going to do is talk talk about uh, <laughs> avoiding distractions <laughs> and I've had this fear of the camera apparently that's all gone oh yeah at the bottom I'm going to ask you if you've got a fear of the camera and if you want to get on a, a, a workshop project that I'm putting together to help people crush their fear of the camera just just in case you're interested in that uh, probably by the end of the day, it'll be active enough where you can get on my list and I'll let you know when I'm ready to rock with that. I've got a few other projects that are ahead of it, but that one's coming and that one's going to be great. So it's Fred Ferguson, 
from fredferguson.com signing off. See you tomorrow.